There was a recent incident in Boston, Cambridge, Massachusetts, actually, that has touched off many a conversation about race. It involves a Harvard professor, a leading African-American scholar, arrested for breaking into his own home. Police say Henry Louis Gates was disorderly. Gates says the police were guilty of racial profiling. The charges against him have been dropped, but Gates says he's due an apology. Here's Dan Harris. This is Boston's Talk Evolution. On talk radio in Boston today... I definitely don't believe the cop is, you can say the cop is racist. There was no sign that we're now living in a post-racial America. If our listeners and emailers were the jury, mm -hmm. uh, Gates would be guilty. The arrest of Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates Jr. is burning up the internet, too, with one user calling it pure racial profiling. The story is being fueled by Gates himself, who spoke to the Boston Globe. I'm outraged. I shouldn't have been treated this way, but it makes me so keenly aware of how many people every day experience uh, abuses in the criminal justice system. This all started last Thursday afternoon when police were called to Gates's home by a neighbor who said she saw two black men breaking in when, in fact, it was the professor and his driver trying to force their way through a broken door. According to a police report, Gates initially refused to show his ID and then exhibited loud and tumultuous behavior and made accusations of racial bias in full view of the public. Even former police officers disagree on whether the arrest for disorderly conduct was justified. You got to uphold the law. You can't just let people act that way and then walk away. Then you lose all respect for the police. When we subject our citizens to arrest because they express their opinion, we're in trouble. The charges have now been dropped, but Professor Gates is still out there arguing that he did not behave inappropriately and that if he weren't black, he would have been treated differently. This is not about me. This really is about justice for the least among us. A man who has spent his career teaching Americans about race relations has now become a case study. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.